All right then, gang. So another type of built-in animation in Flutter is the hero animation. Now, the hero animation gives us a way to animate widgets from one screen to the next, as long as those widgets are present on both. For example, we have the same images on the home screen as we do on the details one. If we click on this one with a picture of this umbrella with two chairs, then we see that picture there as well. If we click on this one with a balloon, then we see that same picture over there. So we see the same picture here as we do on the second screen. So the hero widget would give us a way to animate this picture from here to here so that instead of just the screen popping up and it being there, we could make it bigger and zoom up to the top. All right. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video using a hero widget. Now, these are actually really simple to set up. All we need to do is surround this image right here with the hero widget and also on this screen, this image. So let's first of all go to the list, which is this thing right here, trip list and try and find the image. That's this thing right here. So we need to wrap this thing with a hero widget because this is the thing we want to animate from this screen to the next one. So if we go to the context menu and say wrap with widget, we can then say this is a hero widget. And now the child of that hero widget is this image right here. Now, currently we're getting a squiggly line underneath and that's because we're missing a property from this hero widget. And that property is the tag of this hero. Now, this is a string and it has to be unique for everything we want to animate. For example, the tag of this one must be different from the tag of this one and this one and this one, etc. Now, this tag will link up to the tag of the hero on this page so that Flutter knows these have the same tag and that's what we want to animate between from this to this. I hope that makes sense. We'll see that in a second. But anyway, let me just create a tag and this is going to be location hyphen image. But that's not enough because if you look at this, we're actually cycling through each of the trips and building a tile for each trip. So every time around, we're going to add one of these list tiles to the list. And for each one, we're using the same tag in the hero. So it's not unique. This is going to have the same tag as this, as this, as this, etc. So each one has to be unique. So what we could do is add inside this string a variable, something that's unique for each individual trip. Now, to be honest, up here we can use any of these, but this thing right here, the image property itself, is unique for each individual trip. So we could have that after this. So remember, to output a variable inside Dart, inside a string, we can use dollar sign curly braces, and we take the trip, and we want the image property, so dot image like so. And now each one of these tags for each individual tile is going to be different because they have different values for the image property. All right then, so, We've done this, we've surrounded this image with a hero right here, but this is not gonna work on its own because when we go to the next screen, it doesn't know that this is the thing we want to animate too. So we have to surround this with a hero widget as well and give it the same tag that this thing has right here. So this will have the same tag as this and this will have the same tag as this. And then Flutter knows that this is the start animation and that's what it needs to animate to over on the other screen because they have the same tag, they're linked together. So let's now go to the detail screen. And remember we have access again to the trip inside this widget. So we can access the image on that trip when we're using the tag on the hero. So this is the thing we want to animate to. So let's surround that with the hero so a wrap with widget and this is the hero and again we need the tag property inside this so tag and that is going to be a string and it was location hyphen image hyphen and then output the trip dot image so now this tag is going to be the same right here for each individual item as this tag does that make sense and now they're linked up. So when we click on one of these, it knows to animate to this image right here. OK, so now let me save that and I'm going to refresh over here. And if I click on one of these, then you're going to notice it animates to the new position now and it animates back as well. It's a little clunky just because my emulator is not great, but you can see now it's a bit of a subtle animation and it looks a bit better than it did before. So that's it. Dead simple to create hero animations to animate items from one screen to the next.